Hello, and welcome to Our Devotions, where together we're developing lives with God at the center. I'm Daniel, and this is my amazing wife, Amanda. Hello, today we're gonna to be talking about lies in the church, using the book of Galatians as a launching point. So grab your Bible and get ready to jump right in with us. with us through the New Testament. We are kicking off the book of Galatians. If you haven't been, welcome aboard. So we're, we're diving in and we're going through our New Testament and just looking at different spots and learning to be people of the word. And as I was reading in Galatians, there was a couple things that jumped out in the first chapter. And in the, the first, like verse three and four, there's all this great stuff. And he's like, hey, and God who delivered us from this present evil age according to the will of, of, our, of our God and Father. And it's talking about just this great deliverance, but it goes on in verse 6 and says, I'm astonished. And it goes on and says that you are turning to a different gospel. Not that there is a different one, but there are some who want to distort the gospel of Christ. Yeah. And I just got looking and thinking going, so he is warning them that there are lies that are trying to sneak into the church. Yeah. And he goes, you have to know the truth and you've got to be careful and guard against this. And I, I just started looking and as I've been reading, it just keeps coming up more and more. And it, it comes up and we just read it here, but it comes up again in 1 Timothy 4, 16. He says, keep a close eye, uh, a close watch on yourself and the teaching. In 2 Timothy 4, 3, he goes through and says, the time is coming when people will not endure sound doctrine. Yeah. But their itching ears will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions. And yeah. they want to find someone who will tell them what allows them to do what they want, yeah. not someone who will bring them the truth. And the, he said in, you know, the, that these times would come. And I would say these times are here. Right. <laughs> and as I, I begin to look, I'm like, okay, so he warns us, but how do we... How do we be people who have sound doctrine, who aren't um, led astray by whatever sounds pleasant, sounds pleasing, yeah. or sounds like a good idea? Well, in Acts chapter 17, uh, Paul actually commends the Bereans because the Bereans listened to him, but they didn't just go, oh, this guy said it, so that must be it. Yeah. In, in Acts 17, 11, it says, now these Jews are more noble than those in Thessalonica, they received the word of all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. And I think this is such an important part that's so easy to neglect. And going, are we people of the word or are we relying on somebody else to get into the word for us? Yeah. And if we begin to rely on somebody else, our relationship with God becomes secondhand and it becomes like a rumor which is often distorted. Yeah. Well, yeah. people can say things so cleverly. I was telling Daniel a while back, I was reading this blog or, I don't know, some article online, and it was talking about something that I know I don't agree with. But by the end of the article, I was like, whoa. Like, if I didn't already know the word, I would totally believe this guy. Like, that was crazy how they twisted scripture and how they just brought out little bits and pieces here and there. And what they had to say sounded so smart and so loving. Yeah. But knowing the word was the only way that I was able to say, like, wow, no, this is wrong. And I know it's wrong. Yeah. And it becomes so important for us to be people of the word and to be in this regular because culture is pushing and they yeah. the culture is saying you need to preach my message you need to you need to yeah. say what we say and culture and i say culture but uh, a lot of times we think of it just as going hey it's that group over there but everywhere you go our society is pushing something yeah. and i remember we started a, a tv show a movie thing with the kids and we made it like six minutes maybe <laughs> into the show and we're like nope just kidding because they're trying to normalize sin yeah and they're trying to go this is what normal should look like this is what should be celebrated and when i say that a lot of the church people go yeah you're talking about the lgbtq plus and it is so much bigger yeah 
than LGBTQ and any initials yep. that you want to add. It is the world trying to define what is right and wrong and trying to push what the Bible says is wrong as normal and then using normal to declare it as right. Yeah. And it's it's true with uh, with whatever sex, lying, gossip, greed, sexual immorality, gluttony, uh, just living and walking according to the flesh. Yeah. That the world is pushing and going, well, you need to accept this. You need to accept it because so many people are doing it because, and they, they push this. And if you don't know, if we don't know the word, it's so easy for that to become normal and to become believed. Yeah. In fact, if you look back in history, uh, one of the, the times called the dark ages, because things were dark, things were bad. And you're like, well, how did things get so bad? And how did things in a cult get so bad. Someone gets elevated and the others lose access to God. Mm. They go through and they go, well, you take access to God for me. Yeah. And when that happens, they lose hold of what is truth. And then one person gets off and instead of the rest going, hey, hey, it says right here, then the whole group gets off and it, it becomes such a mess. And then that person can... Even if that person isn't ill-willed, like sometimes there's groups that are they're ill-willed yeah. and power hungry. But even when they're not, we need the word to keep us on track. In fact, in Galatians 2, Paul talks about how he called out the apostle Peter. Mm. And he goes, the apostle Peter got caught up in the culture and that the culture that was so used to uh, salvation by works and by the law that rejected the Gentiles that God had sent them. Jesus said, hey, I want you to go into all the world and preach the gospel. And Paul was, Peter was doing so. But when a bunch of the other, uh, the, the Jews came, he got caught up in the way that they were doing and forgot the message that he brought. Yeah. And Paul lovingly goes, hey, that's, buddy, what are you doing? And he calls him out. But because the word was the standard, because Jesus was the standard, they could go back to it yeah. and, and straighten things out. We need to be people of the word. And I yeah. challenge each of you, when you hear me preach, when you hear anybody else preach, go check it. Yeah. Go, is that what the word says? Yeah, sure, it sounded good, but is that what the word says? Let's be people of the word yeah. so that lies cannot creep in. Yeah. So that culture cannot take us off course because we know the truth and we know the word. Yeah, the truth is what will set us free. Yes. So good. Let's do our confessions. So repeat these out loud after me, okay? I live generously. I live generously. Overflowing with God's love. Overflowing with God's love. In all I do. In all I do. I am filled with the grace. I am filled with the grace. And power of God. And power of God. I stand in prayer. I stand in prayer. To see God's will done. To see God's will done. On earth as it is in heaven. On earth as it is in heaven. I am quick to listen. I am quick to listen. Slow to speak. Slow to speak. And slow to become angry. And slow to become angry. I encourage others. I encourage others. And build them up. And build them up. Whatever I speak or do. Whatever I speak or do. I do everything. I do everything. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I do not have a spirit of fear. I do not have a spirit of fear. But of power, love and a sound mind but of power love and a sound the mind. same power the same power that raised christ from the dead that raised christ from the dead lives in me lives in me god i thank you that your power that your spirit does live mm -hmm. in us that we could be people of the word marked by your word by your presence by your power by your grace and by your love god i ask that we would shine brightly that we would yes. see your word confirmed with signs and wonders that we would cling to your truth god that we would overflow with that with grace and love towards others that your kindness would be on display drawing them to repentance and god i ask that you would lead us and guide us and have your way in us and through us in jesus name Amen. Amen. We hope this was a blessing to you today. If it was, please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons so that it can go out to more people. And our challenge to you is to be a person of the word, to get into the word daily for yourself and discover all that God has for you. Be blessed. We'll see you again soon.